introducing the all new 2019 Toyota Fortuner. This top of the range VXR V6 Fortuner makes this car one of a kind. We shall review its exterior first and then go ahead and review the interior of the car. The Toyota Fortuner comes with a bi beam LED that is a single output for both low and high beam with the daytime running lights at the top. At the bottom, you have the LED fog lights. Coming towards the center, it has a chrome radiator grille and the front bumper silver garnish. The VXR trim comes with an 18 inch alloy wheels. Moving towards the top, you have the body colored side mirrors and the lane change indicators, the chrome door handle, and a fuel tank a door opener on the left hand side. Not to forget that the Toyota Fortuner VXR comes with an 80 liter ta fuel tank capacity. At the back from the top you have the spoiler that includes the brake light. Going below you have the all LED tail light that runs all the way from the side to the back. Going below you have the reverse camera, the trim mentioned VXR. Below you have the pa reverse parking sensors, the chrome exhaust tip and the fog lights which include the reflectors. Now let's check out the interior of the car. On the door you have all the window options, lock, unlock, side mirror adjustments, side mirror folding. At the bottom you have the speakers and some good storage space and cup holders. At the side you have the electric powered seat adjustments and some fine tan colored leather seats. Now let's go inside. A strong pillar A to give you the grip as you go inside. Once seated, you are greeted with some fine leather stitch wood trim steering wheel. There are varieties of buttons on the steering wheel. You have the volume control, track control, mode selections, hands free. On the right hand side, you have uh, the selections for the nice 4.2 inch multi information display screen for which we shall go through in a minute. The Toyota Fortuner comes with a smart key that means a keyless entry and a push button start. At the back of the key, you have the Fortuner design and the Fortuner mentioned at the bottom. At the front, you have the lock, unlock, and the back door open. Opener. So without further ado, let me go ahead and push the brake and press the push button start. A smooth start indeed. On the dashboard you have the speedometer, you have a fine 4.2 inch multi information display screen which currently shows the outside temperature, gear status, going through some of the uh, information over here, you have the driving range, you have eco indicator, on the right you have the navigation, audio messages and setting going through some of the settings you have the language unit eco screen settings a uh, pop-up display color eco saving and many other options to choose from setting it back to normal starting from the left you have the parking sensors you have the back door opener you have a cup holder which is located on both the ends you have the ac vents moving towards the center you have two ac vents at the top time display going below you have the nice eight inch navigation multimedia display screen which has varieties of options to choose from you have a cd input you have the power volume menu home then you have the audio tune track pause and play and the phone as well Going through some of the menu selections, you have the navigation, audio, phone, eco, setup and maintenance. Selecting uh, selecting the setup, you have the general home screen, voice, display, bluetooth, phone, audio and navigation. Going through some of the general settings, you can even choose the color theme you wish to have. You have the beeping sound if you want to choose it or not. A quick response I must say. You can customize the screen off image, customize startup image. Going back. You have the display, you can choose to adjust the contrast and the brightness. So yeah, there are varieties of options you can choose from. Going below you have the AC controls, you have the temperature, you have the level, the fan level over here, you have the off button, you have the mode selections over here. You can even switch on the rear AC by, by clicking on this. Going below you have the 4x4 options, you have the seat coolers, you have the AUX, uh, AUX and USB input over here. You have a nice 12 volt output over here to charge your mobile and other electronic items. You have some nice storage space over here. Two cup holders, gear, handbrake, eco mode, power mode, you have the differential lock, traction. Going over here you have some nice space at the center. Having a brief view at the passenger seat. You have the glove compartment, which is spacious. You have an upper compartment, which is also spacious. Moving towards the top, you have the sunshade. 
with the mirror and light. At the center you have the light button, glass, sun glass holder. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Same over here. Now let's go ahead and review the second passenger row seats. At the second passenger row seats, you have the window or a window control over here. You have the speakers at the bottom and some nice storage space. And a footstep to assist you as we go inside. On the second passenger row seats, you have some fine legroom space. At the center, you have some storage space with a 12 watt outlet to charge your mobile and other electronic items. At the top, you have the AC vents, you have the AC controls over here, the auto off, and the speed. You have the light switch over here going towards the center armrest. You have two cup holders, that's nice. So yeah, that's pretty much about it from the second passenger row seat. You get a nice view as well. So yeah, now let's go ahead and check out the third passenger row seats. In order to enter the third passenger row seats, you just got to pull this lever up. The seat shall fold and it shall give an easy access to the third passenger row seat. Having seated at the third passenger row seats, there doesn't it doesn't seem to have enough legroom space. So I guess this is more suitable for children. You have some nice storage space on the side with cup holders. On the top you have the AC vents and the side handles. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now let's go ahead and exit from here. The third door is powered, so in order to open it, you just need to push the button at the back, which is located right next to the reverse camera. So yeah, at the back with the third row seats unfolded, you have some nice space over here for your groceries and day-to-day -day items. Now let's go ahead and have this folded. So even with the third passenger row seats folded towards the side, there is ample amount of space for your luggages and other items. Now let's go ahead and have this closed with the click of a button. Here you go. Now let's go ahead and check out what's underneath the hood. The hood opener is located right next to the fuel opener on the left hand side. Now let's go ahead and check out what's underneath the hood. This 2019 Toyota Fortuner VXR comes with a V6 4 liter engine with a total horsepower of 235 and a 6 speed automatic transmission. So that's my review on the 2019 Toyota Fortuner VXR. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I wish I could take this out for a test drive, but I guess I would require more likes and subscribers in order to do so. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Hey guys, so in this channel we review new cars, new products, discover new places and even show your view at a height of 36,000 feet. So why miss out? Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn your notifications on. Thank you so much for watching.